<coughs> Hello and welcome back to Fairhead. And as you can see, we are now in June. It's quite a quiet month for us, there's not really much else we can be doing with the rest of our farm. So, I have decided that we will do a contract using some slightly larger equipment. So as you can see, we've got the Chrome Big M. We do have a job that we can be doing at a field number 85. They want their field mowing and bailing up as silage. So we're just making our way to field 85 now. We're going down the other side of the map this time. You can see it's coastal. It's quite nice. And field 85 isn't too far from the store. It does have a baler slash wrapper and an auto stacking trailer. So hopefully we shouldn't have any issues with actually doing this contract. But if push comes to shove, we can always get our bale trailer. So we need to turn right, if I can, you know, not hit the fence. We need to turn right here. Yeah. Yeah. So tight, this map. That's better. It really isn't better, is it? <laughs> okay, there we go. So made it down and then literally we'll be entering straight into this field here which is through a little bit of a stream that's fine they won't mind okay so i've got this chrome began set to swath mode so we'll get this unfolded and ready to go but before we go any further and actually mow this field i will show you the rest of the equipment that the uh, contract has given us so let's go to the map and We'll have a look at the Fent 930 Vario, which is the trap that it's given us for this. It did give us a wind row, but we don't need it. And if I can get through this, because it's set all the... Uh, maybe I should have taken all these bags away and things. <laughs> we should be able to take or grab hold of the baler. Oh, it's, it's a little bit jittery for me at the minute. I'm wondering why that is. Unfortunately, there's no collision there. Now I've just got to see if I can actually get this baler attached to the back of this in this lovely tight space. Oh. There. Oh, yes. Okay, so we may as well take this straight away. Yeah. Um, we may as well run this down to the field as well, so it's given us the passenger baler and it's given us the bale auto loading trailer as well. So what I might actually do is see how we go with setting this on follow me and we can mow the field and this can follow us baling the field and then it's just a case of having to come back and pick it up. So let's get back to field 85 and we'll see how it works like that. Hopefully it shouldn't be too bad. We shall see. If we can get down this nice tight uh, turning down the down the road. Actually, I think the entrance would have been through that gate. Really, probably should have gone that way. There we go. We're in anyway. We've got it. And there's no collision. Okay, there is a collision on this fence. Oh no, it's just the bank. So, follow. Yeah. So we'll get this lowered. Turn it on. Oh. Bailing, uh, swath dropping nicely. Is the bailer following us? Turn the baler on first. So unfold on. You need to fill the baler with net wrap. Fabulous. I'll go and do that, and I'll be back with you in a second. 
Okay, so we are back and now mowing and we're actually picking up and baling the grass again. So we're just going to get on with this. I don't expect the baler to keep up with us for very long, but the more the more it starts the better. We'll just see how we're doing once we get to this point and we'll turn around and have a quick look. He says. So it is coming. We might just have to stop every now and then to let it catch up a bit. So it's already done. Well, that's its second bale already, I think. Yeah, possibly. Yes, it is. So it's going to be doing quite a lot of bales. So we'll just keep going. And uh, if we have to do the bailing, then we have to do the bailing. But we're now exploring a different, slightly uh, further side of the map, different side of the map nice area to look at we've got especially when we get down towards doing the sort of these ones where we can see the coast as well I think the work has actually already stopped hasn't it? no it's not it's still going we just can't see it on the map yet right so I will jump into a time lapse get in this field mode up and I will see you in just a moment Okay, so as you can see using the uh, Chrome Big M, it really doesn't take long to mow a decent sized grass field like this. So I'm tempted to see if we can take advantage of just renting this one lot of equipment and doing another field with the same lot. Um, I think I will bail this up first, but there's plenty of baling contracts about, so it shouldn't be difficult to find something very close by to where we are now and uh, see if we can take advantage of that so maybe I should do that first actually and then we'll go around and bail all this so I will just quickly finish this little patch and we'll have a look at contracts and see if there's one nearby because if there is I kind of want to do it so, contracts we're at field 85 so we want to go close to 83 or 82. Where is 82? 82 is right next door. I'm going to accept that contract and see if we can use these items for it. If we can, I'm going to mow up both fields and then just do it all that way. Because <laughs> why not? We shall see. Fingers crossed this works. It is actually working. Oh, we're going to bring in loads of money today. Right. So this changes things. I need to mow this and then bail both fields up. But I will only sell bales from each field one at a time. Otherwise we'll get confused just in case they want to sell in at different spots or different points. Hmm. 
this is a little bit cheaty but like I say it's going to bring us loads of money in just before harvest time and we are going to need to rent a forage harvester we're going to need to rent a harvester as well for the uh, the wheat and the canola that we uh, that we have planted in at the minute so I'm going to take advantage while I can <laughs> I'll be back in a moment okay so we are pretty much mowed up again with this second field and it's just occurred to me I didn't really check that contract very well I'm really hoping it is to bail it up for silage because uh, if it has to be hay <laughs> then maybe uh, I'll just cancel it we'll have to have a look but we'll get it mowed up first now since it's nearly done no point in uh, stopping when we're nearly, uh, nearly there Patch. We'll check this contract and make sure it definitely is for silage. So, field 82, this one. Silage, yeah. Uh, I'll then dry it and ted it. They wanted hay. I'll cancel it. Yeah, that's a shame. Ooh! It's all gone back to not mode. Oh well. Right. Um, yeah. <laughs> About that. <laughs> oh dear me. I wonder if there's another one nearby that is for silage. And then I'll mow that up off camera. Let's have a look. Hmm, field 81. Which is this one here. Actually, yeah, what I'll do is I'll, I'll put this on a worker. See if I can get cosplay to do a decent job of it. So I need to find the way in to field 81. And, uh, as long as there's no fence inside that hedge, we'll just drive through it. It's fine. Okay. Right. So we'll set course play up. <clears throat> Maybe do like three headlands or something. Let's get that set up. Create a job. CP field work 81. Start at first waypoint. Open generator working with 10 meters, one tool, three headlands. Mm -hmm. That looks good to me. And start job. Let's see. Pop straight into it. Look at that. So that means we can actually continue on with bailing the first field. Hopefully this will do all of this. So we'll jump across to the vent. And we shall get bailing. Right, so I will bail a bit of this up and I'll come back to you in a few minutes.
Okay, so we're not far off Bailed in this field. And as you can see, the Chrome Big M has nearly finished uh, mowing that field up for us. What I'm going to do after this field is bailed is we're going to copy that course that the Chrome's done and we'll get a worker to bail that up and we'll go and get our own trailer to pick up and sell these bales. The capacity is larger um, so we'll be able to sell more at a time and we'll uh, be able to start bringing in some of the cash that we've uh, been earning. So it shouldn't take long to get this uh, field finished up now. And then we can get into the next field and hopefully I can remember how to set up this worker on the same course. <laughs> Knowing my luck, I'll do it wrong and fail miserably. But it's okay. Right. Let's get back on it. These bales are quite small. I would kind of uh, wish the capacity was a little bit bigger. But that's okay. Um, like I say, our trailer holds, I think it's 28 bales. If I remember rightly. So it's definitely a lot better than the the 14 or whatever it is that the uh, the trailer that we were given for this job holds. So turn this round. And I do know I've left a lot of patches, but uh, this bale's pickup isn't that wide. Um, Obviously the John Deere baler that we've got is a mod and the pickup on that is slightly wider than I think it should be. Um, but even it might be a little bit easier inside the cab. Who knows. Might pick up a bit more this way. But we shall see. Right, so I'll get the rest of this field picked up and I will see you when it's done. Okay, so there's been some sort of glitch or something where the contract for 81 unaccepted itself and then when I accepted it again it disappeared. So we've mowed that field for no reason. Oh well, we live and learn. Me trying to cheat. <laughs> So we're making our way now, we've just gone past the farm uh, that is the original start farm for the map and we're taking a bit of a scenic route around to uh, pick up the bales out of field 85 and I should have gone left there I believe yeah so we left around here and we shouldn't be far away from the field now actually the, uh, the road system is pretty straightforward on this map um, so we can't unfortunately bail up field 81 which is a shame now we could potentially buy it, bail it and then sell it again but I really don't want to have to do that I'd rather just uh, get these contracts done Ooh. and earn a bit of money that way so yeah alright we've had to use a worker it's cost us a little bit uh, I guess trying to cheat the system a little bit we we live and learn whoops ah this is actually a pathway that we didn't take last time I believe and it does lead right to field uh, 85 which is the one we are working in will we get in this this is quite a narrow gate as well I don't think we will but it's worth a try it's probably not worth a try but <laughs> we'll see actually that wasn't terrible so I believe this needs turning into operate transporting position maybe let's see how we get on see if we can actually get this working And now why is that going like that? So, which side? If I remember rightly, it starts on the right side of the trailer. Let's see. 
and then it won't look funny when we're carrying about. <laughs> Wrong. There we go. Right, so we'll quickly pick as many of these up as we can on this trailer now. Uh, just drive through a load here. That should fill up quite quick. And we'll go and hopefully make loads of money out of just this one field. That would be really nice. Uh, the more money we make, the less uh, less we need to actually worry about selling our silage. I'd rather sell all them silage bales we made for ourselves in December, which is about the best time to sell them. Get a lot more money out of them that way. But this is going to pick up a nice amount of uh, these silage bales rather than using the base game uh, auto loader. Or should I say auto bale stacker? So what's that? 25 now, so it might actually be 30 bales, I'm not too sure. I thought it was 28 that this trailer holds. I would suggest it might be 28 or 29. Yeah, 28, 100%. So we need to go and sell these, if I remember rightly, at... Uh, Coastal stores. So this is a new one, actually. I've not been there. Let's find coastal stores. Silage vehicle shop. Uh, grain. Debris crusher. Coastal stores. So, can we see it anywhere? Did it actually tag? There we go. Right, so what we could actually do is explore all the way around the road system and just make our way there when we can. I'm not going to go and try and get out that same gate that we just went through. Um, there's a hole in the fence, a hole in the wall. So, hopefully, we can. Oh my! I wasn't expecting that. Uh, I was expecting it to just go glide through. Most of the fences and walls on this, uh, should I say, most of the walls on this map are um, not collisions. But we've got to get this round this. Oh dear. Oh my days. Will it do it? Keep nice and close to this fence? Yeah. Just about. Right, okay, so we're following the road all the way around. We've got the coast on our left. All the grass fields all the way throughout. I don't know uh, how long it'll take us to get there, but I guess that doesn't matter. We've got plenty of time. So, we did explore a new farm track that we found earlier on, which is always a good thing. Now we've just got to hopefully get these around the map without failing miserably as I usually do. But we're getting up the uh, up the hills nicely. Nice little barn there. Oh that is that is a farm that we did visit thinking about it. I was about to say we didn't visit that farm on the first episode but we did. It was the one that um, has the little cattle grid at the end of the road um, that I nearly took a wrong turning at before. Uh, yeah, so we're going to go across the top of fields 50 and 49 and back down that way. What? Was that that fence post that somebody was mentioning? Yes it is. Right, let's see if we can get rid of that. Panel broken fence, yes. Right. There you go, that's gone. We won't get uh, done by that anymore. Right, so I'll just put some music behind driving and I will come and speak to you again in just a minute.
Okay, so we've just gone past field 65, which is the field we did the contract in a couple of episodes ago, so we've pretty much done a full loop of the map. Um, and we've come really close now to the sell point for these bales, which is nice. Perfect place. Let's see if we can get them in there without too much bother. front weight on the front of this tractor so it makes it that little bit longer right let's give this another go so it's it's probably inside yes it is which means we're going to have to drag these bales into the trigger as well. There's no way we finish that contract yet. Let's check on the contract uh, progression. Hmm. We've taken the bales out of field 85 and it's just selling them for us I'm not going to complain at the end of the day that's you know lots of free money uh, I'll go and pick up the rest of the bales and I'll be back with you in a moment ok so we're going to go past our farm again in just a second uh, I, the reason I've gone this way again is I wouldn't mind checking on the wheat field that we did see how that's looking. We did drive past the canola field before and it's looking in bloom, nice and yellow, actually looks really good. Um, and we've been past the cornfield a couple of times and we can actually see that that's sprouting through now. I think we need to really make it to sort of September time before we get a forage harvester for that. So there's still a few months left in that. But I just want to see what the wheat field looks like for us. So I think that's our canola field over there. At the yeah, the yellow field basically is uh, our canola field. The corn looking good and the wheat field still looking rather green. So there's going to be a couple of months left in that as well. Hmm. Yeah, that's definitely our canola field over there. We're actually going to drive past that again. Um yeah, the wheat field definitely needs another couple of months, but uh, there's nothing we can do for these fields now, they, they just need to ripen, we just need to wait for them to be ready to harvest, unless of course we decide to cut them up and make them silage, because I don't think we need the straw for anything for that wheat, and the canola, yeah it will be power food, so that should be okay. go through these trees where I can actually see probably in cab view would be better for this little tiny patch it's a bit difficult to see through that gap when you're in uh, third person view so that about there and then we'll get them inside the cell point Yeah, it's literally sold all the bales and give us every penny. Which is really weird. So the contracts are obviously broken. But, I'm not complaining because we've gained a lot of money out of that today. And I mean, a lot of money out of that. So, is there a place I can turn around? Tell you what, let's see what happens if we finish this contract now. Because it's not not gone up any, we sold it to the right place, coastal stores yeah take the bales of grass and wrap it to make silage bales which we did take the bales to coastal stores okay so 
Yeah, he's not paying me twelve grand, but we got plenty more out of that than it was uh, than we were expecting to. We started the day at about sixty thousand pound and doubled our money. Right, that is unfortunately all I've got time for today. If you like the episode, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time for more on FS22 on Fairhead. Goodbye.